Our students are learning to be civically active in their communities, learning that their voice does make a difference, whether it's here at school, at the local level, at the state, at the federal level, and that they need to be part of the process and that by getting involved does bring about change. We're trying to expose them as much as we can to all the government entities, uh, all three branches of government. We started something called um, a civic investigation process. So it's a six-step process that the students are learning and they, are, they want to be part of the solution. So what we're training them in the classes is how to identify a problem, how to identify the root cause of the problem, um, discuss potential solutions to it and in investigate the problem, and then uh, express those solutions or actually do something um, as an action at the end of the project. We've had them go to city meetings where they learn what's going on in their own city in Bellflower here. Um, while I'm outside of class, we typically focus on um, a civil discourse. It's like even if you have different opinions, you can still have a civilized conversation about um, the politics of the, um, the state of our country. Well, we incorporated the civics program school-wide, the seventh grade all the way up through the twelfth from the very beginning. This has opened up the, the eyes of our students to the process to our democracy and how they can be part of it and erect change. I'm majoring in political science. I'm going to go on to law school and I really want to get involved in the system so I can enact real change. It begins in seventh grade so that they are allowed to, you know, develop that civic discourse and that academic language and they get to learn more and more about what um, plays into government and how they can have an impact and a voice essentially. It feels empowering, to be honest. Um, being educated and knowing what's going on, and it makes me feel like you know a functioning member of society.